Hi, everybody. It's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And welcome to the Wine Ladies TV, one sip at a time. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. And to all our friends and fans on Facebook and Twitter and thewineladies.com, thanks for following and sending in all your questions and comments. Now, you may have noticed that we're actually not at the station today, but rather <laughs> we are on location at the beautiful St. George's Golf and Country Club in Toronto. And we are here for a very, very special event, I might add. That's right. The RBC Canadian Open is just about to start and today's event is the kickoff of this event the Mike Weir Charity Classic look over there I, you know, I think I see some of the celebs and the star and the stars uh, heading over to the practice range let's get on over there and see what's going on I like that idea okay. <laughs> Children's Hospital is a, is a great hospital. I went to see it uh, uh, about a month ago, a little over a month ago. It's a wonderful facility that we're all uh, contributing to here today. And um, so thank everybody for, uh, for coming here today. All the fans, RBC, who's uh, been behind me and uh, a lot of other players here. Um, to run a great event. It's a big challenge to try to win this tournament. You know, it's, it's important to us. Where's your game at this point? It's a lot better than where it was uh, probably a, uh, a month ago. I feel really good. Uh, yeah, I kind of got caught on the bad side of the draw last week. But, um, you know, I, I felt good. You know, I played well. Probably going to try a little of rosé this week. You know, that's going to be a nice, uh, it's going to be hot, so it'll be a nice one to, to sip on. Yes, I had my practice lightsaber in my bag when I was shooting Star Wars in Australia. So when I was waiting at tee boxes, I would practice my lightsaber fight. Samuel, you what? played a lot of badass kind of roles in your day. Really? Are you bringing a badass kind of attitude to your golf swing today? No, I'm trying to be friendly today and <laughs> sign as many autographs as I can. Awesome. <laughs> we interviewed you last year at Glen Abbey, and Duckhorn Merlot was your favorite wine. What, what's your favorite this year? <laughs> I don't know. It's still still trying out all of them. Oh, <laughs> trying yeah. to figure out which one of this. How's your game right now? Not a clue. No. <laughs> it's kind of tough when you you know signing all the autographs, taking pictures, then you run up to your ball because you're holding up your group, your sweating a little bit. I'm playing pretty good today. Yeah. I'm two over. But this is something I want to do, and it's a good, great cause too. Kevin, do a lot of stuff for charity. I do. I try and do as much as possible, mm -hmm. and I love golf. So whenever it could be golf related, that makes it like a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Kevin, what? have you tried Mike Weir wines yet? I haven't, but I'm ready to do it tonight, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I just met Mike for the first time earlier, and he was awesome. Great guy. So I'm sure he makes a good wine. Okay, as the wine ladies, we have to ask. Uh, the shape or the kind of glass that you use affects the performance of the wine. How does the equipment, the, the clubs in your bag, affect your swing? Everybody swings different, and that's why uh, we have guys out here every week trying to get our equipment to the point where we want, depending on the golf course, depending on the conditions, and uh, just just trying to play as good as we can. If you were to describe Mike Weir in one word, what would it be? One word, that's a tough one. I mean, uh, there's a lot of positive words uh, that needed to need to be used to describe a Mike, he's a good friend of mine. He's a great ambassador for the okay, game. So you're the captain of the team. Now, what do the guys drink All right, on, next the bench? on the bench? Wine, the host beer. Do they ever group. have? Do you guys ever have a glass a of wine? Great on the bench. Yeah, after the bench. Oh, after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure some. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, How about Mike Beer wines? Have you tried those? I have tried it. Yeah. What do you like, the Chardonnay, or what's your favorite? The red. The red. The red. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. Lots of celebs that are uh, here today, James. Yeah, How are you feeling yeah. about uh, cooking up a meal for everybody? Oh, great. Should be a lot of fun tonight. You know, we've got some good celebrities, as you say, so it should be a lot of fun. You know, we've got uh, a great meal for them tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got uh, fresh shucked oyster stations and sushi mm -hmm. station. King crab legs and uh, you know beef tenderloin and lamb rack. So we got a bit of everything. Ooh, so who, who's going to be at the party this evening? There's the celebrities, I guess. Yeah, and the, and the players. A lot of the players for the Canadian Open have arrived early, so they're playing in this in the charity, the Mike Weir charity event tonight. So Jim Weir, CEO of Mike Weir Wines, is, is uh, joining us here now. And uh, the tournament is all for the Mike Weir Foundation. All the proceeds go to the Mike Weir Foundation. So maybe you can tell us, Jim, a little bit about the foundation. Oh, it's something that we've been very, very proud of. Uh, we started in 2004, I think it is, 2004, 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that we've, as a family, have been uh, very concerned about giving back. And it's uh, with all of us having healthy um, children, it's been important for us 
to you know give back to people that are less fortunate. And this is the second year for the Mike Weir Charity Classic. It is. So uh, tell us how things are going today. Honestly, it's uh, we couldn't be happy. They seem to be picking it up on the golf course. We should be back on schedule. The live auction items are really cool. There's uh, an experience with Mike in Utah. So we're going to fly three people out to Utah with Air Sprint, private air flare out to Utah. It will be uh, a fishing trip with him. Uh, we take some out on the river. I've been on that trip. It's amazing. And then play a round of golf and have dinner. Um, nice. There's also one to the Boston Red Sox store. Uh -huh. So sit out at the out in the field and by the Blue Monster, take batting practice with the Boston Red Sox. So there's some really good experience items that are up, and I think they're going to generate some really good revenue for us. This is our first year of a multi-year partnership with Golf Canada, mm -hmm. which we're the official wine, which makes a lot of sense. Golf Canada uh, linked to the Mike Weir Foundation, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we started in 2005 in the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, we're proud we were the first celebrity, so-called celebrity wine, and uh, you know we started with 5,000 cases in 2005, and uh, here we are in 2010. We're closer to 30,000 cases. Wow. And what's well, more important to us than case volume is we're distributed in every province in Canada. Yeah. Uh, the mm -hmm. wines have been very well received by consumers, by licensees, and we got some fantastic partnerships like this one with Golf Canada, like Toronto Film Festival, a few ones like that. Right. And uh, and that's kind of what we're all about. And we're trying to raise some money for Mike's foundation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot going on, a few new products that we're releasing this year. We try to expand the line just a little bit. And uh, and uh, that's kind of where we're at. So it's uh, we're in a growth uh, phase right now, but we want to do it, you know, controlled and yes. make sure quality is still our focus. Mm -hmm. Our region, the Niagara region, mm -hmm. is ideally suited to sparkling wines yes. because of the acidity that we get in our grapes. So we've been wanting to do this for a long time and we worked with our partners at Shadow Day Charm and yeah. we came out with a, a classic brute uh, sparkling that's going to be released in August. Okay. So I think this wine, like, you know, with Mike's name and Mike's involvement, we got a lot of celebrities and stuff here today, this wine's going to get people to understand just how great our region is for sparkling yes. wine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I've been with Transition now my second year. Yeah. And we, uh, they are very much for the community. They're always putting out information on how to take care, mm -hmm. reminding people about uh, eye exams and how much you can find out in your, of your health through your eye exam. Really? Like, oh. what can you find out? You can find out if there's cancer. You can find out if there's uh, I'm getting nice uh, hugs here. <laughs> diabetes. Really? You know? Through your eyes? Yes, through your oh. eyes. What is? What are the transition lenses? Okay. Well, the transition lenses <laughs> on the outdoor will get dark and, and actually it gives you 100% protection of UV rays. Okay. When you go indoors, they clear up. They no longer get, uh, they, get they lighten up, so you have clear vision on the indoors. Okay. We, sh we should get some of those, Suzanne. You should. You where, should. Where, do you, where do you buy them? Come with me. I'll get you a pair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, Georgia? I think we should try our hand at that uh, Royal Bank uh, putting challenge. Uh, we have a chance to win $250,000, and we could certainly use that. What do you think? Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be sweet? Plus, yeah. plus $250,000 towards charity as well, right? Oh, so do they match the $250,000? They do, they match it. Wow. So let's give it a try. Okay. Right. You know, I've got the woman's potter here, and uh, oh, that shot wasn't very good. Oh, my, I went right past the pin, way, way too far. You had too let's many Wheaties this morning. Oh my goodness, a hole in one! Wow, wow, wow. Too far past the hole. Oh well, that's okay. What do you think, Suzanne? You, you think golf is your game? No, I, th I don't think so. Okay, well, let me try and see if it's my game. All right, here I go. I gotta pick my putter. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, although this dress, this silk board dress, is absolutely beautiful, I don't think it's exactly the perfect golf attire. Oh, okay. I had too many Wheaties, too, I think. All right. <laughs> here we go. Okay. No, it's wait not a gonna happen today. It's I still not have happen. two more chances. I might get two holes in one. Uh, no, I guess not. All right, we're not That's any it. richer, but we had a lot of fun anyways. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Martin? Martin? Martin. Martin. Have you got one minute? Can we ask you a quick question? Sure. Okay, first of all, how was your game today? It was fun. You had a, you had a good round? <laughs> it was a great round. It was <laughs> a lot great. of fun. Well, we're the wine ladies, okay. and we understand that, that you're a little bit of a chef, that you're a pretty good in the kitchen. Uh, most of the barbecue, more mostly than oh, the kitchen. Oh, you're a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about wines? Have you had a chance to try Mike Weir wines as yet? Well, I've done it last year when I came to the charity, and uh, they were nice enough to send me a few cases at home, and we've oh. been enjoying it. We got to try your new spark. Wine. Good. What do you it, think? Oh, it's delicious. delicious. Good. Yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah. Great. You're gonna enjoy some of that this evening. I'll probably taste a little bit right now. Yeah. yeah. We spoke yeah. to the chef as well, so you're in for some treats there as well. Good. Thanks. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the players, uh, my colleagues, for uh, for making the day. It was a long trip over from. Uh, 
from Europe, all the celebs. Guys, I know I'll catch up with you uh, later, but I really appreciate uh, everybody coming here. It means a great deal to me. Thanks. It's been an incredible day here at the Mike Weir Charity Classic. And lots of celebrities, lots of wine, and a great, great time. Absolutely. I think we should go and get a sparkling wine ourselves right now, Suzanne. What do you think? I think we've earned it. Thanks, everybody. What a great day.